Hi guys, today we're going to be doing this delicious fried chicken recipe. It is keto, low carb, and super easy to do. Just look how delicious that looks. Let's get started. So I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. These are a good high fat option when you're using chicken. You could also use chicken breast if you want, but I just like the flavor of thighs. I'm gonna be taking some whipping cream, a half a cup here, and we're basically going to be making a from scratch sort of version of buttermilk um, because most people don't tend to have buttermilk in their fridge and I certainly don't. So I like to make my own version with things I already have and it tastes just as good and does the job of marinating and tenderizing the chicken. And now I'm using also a half a cup of half and half. And we're going to be adding two tablespoons of unfiltered apple cider vinegar. This is what's gonna give it that tang that the buttermilk has. And you just want this to sit in a bowl, basically for a minimum of, I would say four hours, four to six hours or even overnight works best. I'm gonna add some tapatio, add whatever kind of salsa that you like, um, like a hot sauce, not necessarily a salsa. I like it pretty spicy, adds a lot of flavor since the chicken is sitting in there for quite a while and then just let it sit covered in the fridge for as many hours as you're willing to wait. And then I'm taking about a cup or so of almond flour, coconut flour, and pork panko all in equal, basically portions. I think I did a half cup of each for this amount of chicken that I had. And then you just want to season that breading up. Pork panko is basically just pork rinds that have already been pulverized. Uh, if you have pork rinds at home, you can put them in a plastic bag and crush them yourself. This brand here is awesome. I'll link them down below. They basically do all the heavy lifting for you. And they also make really delicious pork rinds in general. So I'm just adding some freshly cracked pepper, some Redmond Real Salt. This is my favorite kind of salt. It has so much delicious flavor and all of the mineralic properties that you would really want from salt. And you're just gonna mix this all together with a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder, paprika and cayenne. You really wanna flavor up this breading. It's going to be the majority of the flavor for your chicken and just going to make it really delicious. I don't really measure these things, this is really just to taste, but these ingredients are what's going to ensure a delicious chicken. Now we've got everything all stirred up. Now this is my chicken, it's been sitting for about, I would say five hours. You can see it's thickened up. You're gonna think that this is a waste of time, but I'm telling you when you taste this chicken, it just melts in your mouth. My boyfriend definitely commented. So I just take it straight out of that milk mixture and you start breading your chicken. Make sure to separate your wet hand and your dry hand. You're gonna find this helps quite a bit because then your hands can develop that really crazy crusty claw if you don't do that. And then I just set them out on a rack while I do the rest. It's pretty simple. You really don't wanna leave any part of the chicken uncovered if you can help it. And here I have all my delicious chicken thighs ready to go, aren't they stunning? Ready to go right in the oil. I'm frying in a pan of hot coconut oil. You can use whatever oil you like, whatever kind of pan you like. I like using a wok fry these guys when the oil is nice and hot and bubbling and flip them over. Make sure the internal temperature of your chicken, use a meat thermometer, it's 165 or above. And for those of you who like using an air fryer, you can do that as well. I set mine for 400 for about 15 minutes and I turned it over halfway through and it came out just as easy if you don't wanna go through the mess of frying. Now while that's cooking, I just tossed up some lettuce and I'm gonna put this chicken on and I'm making a little sauce for it here with some sour cream, some avocado mayo, Dijon, Worcestershire, and half and half, and a pack of that Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. And here it all is up in my little cup. Again, this is gonna kind of be a to taste thing. You pretty much can't go wrong with any ratio of these ingredients. My boyfriend is not keto, so for him I put it on a little tortilla with some cheese, the sauce, and the lettuce. And here are our finished product. 
ready to get put into the tortilla for my BF, and that's our air fried version. You can see it turns out just as good for those of you who are very big fans of your air fryer. I put mine on just that bed of lettuce with a little bit of this sauce that we've created. Knife and fork it, baby. It's so good. I'm telling you that apple cider vinegar and cream marinade really just, it does something to the chicken. It's so juicy, so moist, so flavorful. I hope you enjoy and you try out this chicken for yourself. If you do, please comment down below, like, and subscribe if you want more recipe videos like this. And I hope that this helps you live a happier, healthier life on your keto or low carb journey. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.